Try to get out of my mother's basement. It's fucking hot down there, man. It's hot in New York. Go for a walk. It's fucking mother. God damn it. She's on to that shit, man. She saw that cute shit. It's fucked up. So, InfoWars. Alex Jones takes a bite at uh, Marco Rubio. You saw that? Ooh, he went at him. It made him into a martyr. I said it two weeks ago. Alex Jones, the Saint Alex, right? Tore into Marco Rubio in Congress. It was really good, right? So Alex Jones is, a, you know, there's a press conference with all the slimy uh, mainstream media, MSNBC, CNN, right? All the important ones, right up front. And Alex Jones pushes in there, and he's like, he gives Marco Rubio a piece of his mind because they're talking about censorship, right? So Marco Rubio, the sitting senator from Florida. I don't know how he got reelected, but anyway, he's he's down there, and I think it's very revealing. It's a good <clears throat> it's a good piece to watch because when Alex Jones lays into Marco Rubio, Marco Rubio, senator, United States senator, talking about um, censorship in in censorship overall, and Marco Rubio deflects to China, saying that China is very very bad and they censor their people and they don't let their people be heard. And Alex Jones says it's happening right here, right? Right? It is happening right here, right? And then he, he, he also says, which is kind of very, very revealing, is that Marco Rubio doesn't know who InfoWars is. Right? Marco Rubio, the sitting senator, doesn't know who who InfoWars is, right? The whole the whole discussion in America right now about censorship, the biggest story. Is Alex Jones in InfoWars getting kicked off of Facebook and YouTube? And and I think today he got kicked off Twitter too. And it's ironic because first first he 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 confronts Rubio inside of Congress and the next day he gets kicked off Twitter. So look, Alex Jones's demeanor, he immediately because he puts his hand on Rubio's shoulder, and then immediately he's 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 accusing Rubio of violence, which when you watch it, it's not the case at all. Google, does Facebook? Does That's Twitter, why you didn't get elected. Do they need to be regulated like what? Do, do they need to be regulated? <laughs> Marco Rubio and the snake. Little <laughs> <laughs> frat boy here. All right, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, who are you, man? Who yeah, is sure. This guy? I swear to God, yeah, I don't you know better hope you're platforming. Tens of millions of views. InfoWars. Better than Rush Limbaugh. He knows who InfoWars well, is. But Playing you, this joke over here. That's why and the deplatforming didn't work. But, but, yeah, but here, here's, here's the question. Here's a question. Hey, don't touch me again, man. I'm asking you not to touch me. Well, sure. I'm just bad as you're nice to me. I know, but I don't want to be. I don't know. Oh, you want me to get arrested? I don't know who you are. It's not just going to take my first arrested, amendment. Man. You're it's not, not just enough to take my first amendment. Myself. Oh, oh, he'll beat me up. You? I didn't say that. I know I am, but he's so mad. You're not going to silence me. You're not going to silence America. Well, but, but, there are, but there are people. You are like you are literally like a little gangster thug. There are there are people in this country. Rubio you know, just threatened to physically uh, take care of me. There are people who Look at feel that. that they're being um, well, you're they are my first being amendment. silenced. They feel like he tells you China's the problem, by, which it is. But they're taking our free like speech Google, right now. Social, social media platforms, Facebook, there goes Rubio. Twitter. Do you believe that these these platforms need to be regulated like a public utility? And how do you go about doing that? Well, I prefer not to. I prefer competition take care of that. But obviously, we're going to watch closely to make sure that these tools that are being used. I mean, one thing is to say we're going to go after foreign interference designed to so and so. But it's already going on here. Another thing is to the say Democrats we're going to go after the Republicans. Because at some point, someone the has to make a determination. What's the difference between, you know, misinformation from abroad and differences of opinion within the United yeah, States? Yeah, and that's, that's happening a very here. fine line, and that's something we need to be careful about. We don't overreach in that direction. But then he doesn't know about so InfoWars being banned. He doesn't know about the to top news story in the country. About how they, uh, not just how they how they apply that within the United States, Info but they don't become agents of authoritarian regimes abroad to crack down on free speech. Because I wonder why Rubio got so mad a, at me and threatened, a, threatened me physically. There's a balance between huh? um, what is free speech and what people disagree on. Okay. Poor Rubio. Guys, I'm sorry, we got to get it. Yeah, man, I got to go to the committee here. Exactly. You guys you. can talk to this clown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this little frat boy. So cool. Go back to your bathhouse. Is it really possible that Marco Rubio has his head so far up his ass? Is that where we are in our politics? That that these guys don't even know what's going on, and they're out there talking about it. Oh, China! They love to do that. They love to point the they point points the finger. China, that's China. Oh, fucking China! They, yeah, they they censor their people. But when it happens right here under your own under your own thumb. 
you ignore it or pretend it's not happening. It's very good. It's it was. I, I commend Alex Jones. I mean, I I thought. I still think that. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to bounce back. I just I don't see it. I think that they got him by the, you know, he got his testicles and he's a he's a high strung guy. He's, I don't know. I mean, they they knocked him off all three platforms, right? You know, and if he gets his if he gets his footing, I think they're gonna you know, he, he gets a studio. They'll come and they'll saw his cable. You know, they'll saw his fucking cable. And cut him off. It's very sad. It's very. I mean, it's. I'm trying to make light of it, but you gotta. You got to. I don't care what side of the political spectrum you are. You must support Alex Jones's effort to be heard. You must support that. Maybe that's his calling, right? He's not very good at. At news, he's not very unbiased <laughs> or, or nonpartisan. <laughs> but man, he gets he got right in Rubio, little Rubio's face, man. Fucking that guy's a punk, really. You know, you watch him. He's a real. He's a real. I mean, these are the guys leading our country. The guy's a little. He's a little fucking. He's a little guy, man. He's a little guy with with, with a little voice, and and <laughs> dismissive. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.